Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make an image that you have uploaded to your WordPress website using the Elementor plugin full width instead of default. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first thing that you guys need to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your WordPress account as an administrator. So it's what I have here. Here's what the dashboard looks like. And the idea is we want to get access to the site builder or the uh, text editor tied to Elementor. So there are a couple of ways to get there. You could simply click on the edit site button under quick links, or you could click on appearance, go to editor, or select the corresponding page that you want to edit under all pages, and then click on edit page. So it'll take you to this site right here, as you can see. And if we were looking to make an image full width, meaning um, you can see everything, uh, it doesn't matter what re resolution the image is, it'll show you the full scale as an embed on your website, you can do so too. So to show you guys what I mean, let's actually add a new container here from scratch. Actually, um, yeah, let's add a new one from scratch. So you can do so here. Select your layout as well as the structure. So if I were to do, um, let's just do this one. Let's do um, two photos next to each other. And I were to upload an image. Let's say I want to add it to this one. And uh, I will choose an image on the left-hand side panel. So this will pull up your assets library, as you guys can see. And if I were to upload this photo right here, let's actually do this one. This one is full scale. As you can see, it's 4K. So it's going to take a while to upload because it's actually super upscaled. So you can see that it's displayed correctly. But normally, if this were a different widget and not a, uh, not a picture, like let's say it's a background one for, let's do uh, text, for example. Let's do text editor for here. And we were to configure the text. Let's actually change the height for this one first real quick. I believe it was under typography size. Here we are. Let's make it the same size. And then from here, let's select a background for it. Background, click on this, classic, upload the image. So you can see here that you can't see, really see the full photo. So what you would need to do is go to advanced, go to layout, and you want to select full width for the photo actually. Wait, am I, I don't have the right one selected. Let's do custom. So you can see I'm changing the resolution for it. And you can do the same for this photo right here. So once again, go to advanced, width, and select full width. Hit update, save, and you guys are done. So yeah, that's the video. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.